dear students how are you all i hope all of you are fine in these days today i am starting this online session by welcoming you all this is simi dango lecturer english st gregory's high school and college in our previous lesson we have been discussing about the difference between conjunctions and sentence connectors i hope now you can differentiate these two topics today we will go through in details about the classification of sentence connectors also i will explain the types of sentence connectors for your interest before going to our discussion let's check out the contents that we are going to focus on today this time we are going to focus types of sentence connectors adverbs as connectors phrases as connectors infinitive phrases as connectors and after that points to ponder over and then you have an exercise soft alert of the next lesson what will we learn after watching this video certainly you will learn the classification of sentence connectors you will learn where and how to use connectors in a sentence you will be able to use different types of connectors in sentences now let's get started our discussion on the basis of the uses of the connectors in our daily life connectors are of several types we can say that some words like verbs phrases and infinitive phrases are used as sentence connectors let's go through in details adverbs as connectors firstly here we have some adverbs that are used as connectors words like however then actually also finally instead later meanwhile secondly so therefore these types of connectors can connect sentences and clauses as well for example we wanted to rent a flat near the university however they were all too expensive so here we have used connector however to join two sentences in the next sentence the old woman poured two cups of tea then i asked her if she remembered my grandparents here then is used to join two preceding clauses these connectors can be used in different position of a sentence this can be used in the front position and also at the end position and also in the middle of the sentence and also in the mixed position i have been to morocco several times actually i have just come back from there in this sentence actually the connector is used here in the front position 
I spent a few days in Casablanca. I visited Tangier as well. She is a grown woman and a strong one too. Here the connector is used at the end of the sentence. Don't forget your raincoat. You are also going to need an umbrella. So here the connector also is used in the middle of the sentence. Dave and Alice arrived with steaming hot coffee. They also brought flesh rolls. Here this connector also is used in mixed position. So dear students, you can use the sentence connectors in different position according to the circumstances. So be clear that you can use the sentence connectors according to the circumstances. So here you have a note. Connectors are not used in the middle of verb and object. You can use the connectors in different parts. In the very beginning of the sentence, at the end of the sentence, in the middle of the sentence, and also in the mixed position. But you cannot use the sentence connectors in the middle of verb and object. Just like this. Don't use like this. They bought also flash rules. They bought also flash rules. This is incorrect. Praises and connectors. There are some praises which are used as sentence connectors. For example, in the meantime, for example, in fact, as a result, for a start, in addition, in conclusion, in other words, on the other hand. We can use it in the front position. The doctor will see you soon. In the meantime, could you please complete these forms? So dear students, there will be no clue in your question paper and you will get a passage and you have to fill the blanks with sentence connectors. So this is very important for you to learn them. Dear students, here you can see in the meantime, this sentence connector is used in the front position at the beginning of the sentence. We have your application, but it's incomplete. You didn't, for example, include a photograph. So here, for example, is used in the mid position. One man lied about having a degree in English. He had never been to university in fact. So here this uh, in fact is used at the end of the sentence. So this connector is used at the end of the sentence. So dear students, remember prepositional phrases using as connectors cannot be used in any position. Use prepositional phrases as connectors according to the suitable circumstances. Infinitive phrases as connectors. Here we have some words some infinitive phrases like to begin with, to conclude, to start with, to summarize, to sum up. I hope you know what is infinitive. To plus verb is called infinitive. So here we have something with 
infinitive verb so that these phrases are called infinitive phrases to begin with to conclude to start with to summarize to sum up we can use these infinitive phrases or these infinitive connectors like this to start with i had a summer job in a factory but i didn't enjoy it to begin with i had to start at 6 which meant i was always tired so these infinitive phrases are always used in the very beginning of the sentence. So here we have some points to ponder over. Connectors are preposition. There are some connectors which match with complex preposition. Like, as a result, is a sentence connector. And also, in addition, is a sentence connector. But as a result of is a complex preposition and also in addition to is a complex preposition. So you have to differentiate between connectors and complex prepositions. I hope you can do it. So here we have some uses of sentence connectors and complex preposition so you can see that as a result c levels are arise and complex preposition will be used like this way as a result of these changes c levels are arising so this as a result is a connector and also as a result of these changes is a complex preposition in addition, they discussed the situation in the Pacific. So, in addition is a connector. In addition to that, they discussed the situation in the Pacific. So, this in addition to that is complex preposition here. We can use noun phrase or pronoun or similar connectors at the end of the sentence also so you have to learn the differentiation of noun phrase or pronoun and also connectors in example number one make when to cambridge Raina choose oxford instead of cambridge so here oxford instead of cambridge is a phrase noun phrase in example number two, he went to Cambridge, she chose Oxford instead. This is a connector. So dear students, I hope you can differentiate easily the noun phrase and also the connector. Try to do it by yourself. In the next lesson, I will discuss specifically the words we usually use as connectors. Trees are vital of our environment. Air dash, they bear a great impact on the climate. B dash, we are not careful about them. C dash, we destroy trees at random. D dash, one day the country will bear the consequence of greenhouse effect. E dash, ours is an agricultural country. Our economy depends on agriculture. F dash, trees play a vital role on our climate. G dash, trees keep soil strong and protect it. H dash, trees save us from flood and many other natural calamities. I dash, trees provide us timber which is of great use specifically in construction works and for making furniture. J dash, trees are our best friends. Try to do it by yourself. In our next class, we will discuss sentence connectors in details.
dear students this is the end of today's lesson i hope this lesson will be fruitful in your life take care thanks to you all